efficiency of electrical devices tells us about how well the device is performing. It also tells us about the operational cost that we will be spending on the device and hence efficiency is one of the important parameter of electrical device. Now this basic concept of efficiency will help you in understanding the meaning of efficiency for transformer, motors, generator and of course the other electrical devices. And to understand this basic concept you need to watch the video. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav J. I am an electrical engineer and on this channel I post videos related to electrical engineering which will help you to understand the concepts in easiest way possible. Now the concept of efficiency is really important and I am specifically talking about the efficiency of electrical devices because it can be applied to so many other devices that you will be studying in electrical engineering including motors, generators, transformers, etc. So make sure you watch the video till the end. When you do a top up recharge on your mobile phone for talk time, you don't get full value that you have paid. For example, when you top up rupees 20, you see you get only 14.95 rupees as a talk time. Same is with 10 rupees, you only get 7.47 rupees. That means you are not getting 100% of what you are giving. And the same is the case with electrical devices. Let's take a simple example of electrical motors. The job of electrical motor is to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Now I am giving 100% electrical energy as the input to this motor. I am saying in percentage just for understanding purpose. So when I'm giving 100% electrical energy, naturally I would expect 100% mechanical energy as output from this motor, right? But of course not all the expectations are fulfilled, do they? Do we get 100% of mechanical energy as output? Well, the answer is no. Now the question is why we do not get 100% mechanical energy as output when we are giving 100% electrical energy as input? Let's understand that. We know a very basic rule about energy. Energy cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed. We can only convert it from one form to another. Now in electrical motor, ideally when all the input electrical energy is converted into output mechanical energy, then and only then we can have 100% output. But this is the ideal case and not possible practically. When we give electrical energy as input, the input energy not only gets converted into mechanical energy but also in some other form of energy. The most common other form is heat energy. And of course this heat energy is not useful. So in the example shown if we are giving 100% electrical energy as input, only 85% of input energy is getting converted into mechanical energy and balance 15% is converted as heat. And why heat? Because we know when electric current is passed through a conductor it produces heat. We call it as heating effect of electric current, right? That is the tendency of current. It produces heat because of the resistance offered to it. And this is the reason why we do not get 100% mechanical energy as output. Well, one of the reason. If you understood what is happening here, you have actually understood the concept of efficiency. Let's now define efficiency in proper language. Efficiency of electrical device is defined as the ratio of useful output power to the input power. Now the word useful output power is really important here because you can also say that heat energy is also an output and that is also partially true. But we cannot consider it for calculation of efficiency because it is a non-useful output. Therefore the word useful output power is really important. This definition basically summarizes what we have understood so far. So in our example of motor the useful output power is only 85. Then the efficiency of the motor becomes 85%. 
we refer efficiency in percentage. Not only motor, you can also consider any other electrical devices including power transformers. Power transformers also do not have 100% efficiency. They also suffer from different losses. They also suffer from heating issue and hence their efficiency is also not 100%. By the way, if you would like to study transformers in detail and in the easiest and the effective way possible, then you can check out the course designed by me on the transformers. You'll get all the details about the course in the description of this video. Now let's talk about why efficiency is important and what are the effects of low efficiency. For understanding purpose, let's stick to the motor example but you can also very well connect this to any other electrical devices. So firstly, poor efficiency means the motor is generating more non-useful energy than the useful energy. It means the input energy is getting wasted in producing the non-useful output. This is of course not at all desirable. Then non-useful output majority of the time means production of heat. And as the efficiency decreases, the heat increases, which further causes significant increase in temperature of the device. And high temperature is one of the biggest concern in developing reliable electrical or electronic devices. With increase in temperature, you also have to provide the cooling methods, otherwise the device will fail because of heat. You would have noticed many of the electrical device comes with the fan. Let me know in the comment section which are all the electrical devices you have seen with fans. And if you have also noticed, most of the smartphone companies nowadays focusing more on the cooling methods used in the smartphone to optimize the performance. And the third one is of course poor efficiency means large operational cost in case of big electrical devices like power transformer. Operational cost means the amount of money that you will be spending on repairs or maintenance of the electrical devices. And that is the reason why efficiency of electrical devices is a really very important term. All these issues are caused because the device has poor efficiency. Well, there are few electrical devices who has 100% efficiency as well. If you know any, please let me know via comments. Now let's summarize this video. When electrical energy is passed through a conductor, it produces heat. We call it as heating effect of electric current. Efficiency of electrical device is defined as the ratio of useful output power to the input power. Poor efficiency can cause waste of energy, excessive temperature rise of the device, which can cause failure of the equipment and higher operational cost. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, the video helped you in some or other way. Please make sure you click on that like button and the subscribe button to get for the notification of all the upcoming videos. I'll really, really appreciate that. So thank you for your time and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.